A former student at Southridge High School will spend 25 years in prison for a crash that killed stu two students and badly injured a Washington County Sheriff's deputy. You might remember the crash happened early in the morning, just a over a year ago on TV Highway. And that is our top story here at 4 o'clock. The judge handed down the sentencing just about 90 minutes ago. Mike Benner was in the courtroom this afternoon. So, Mike, what was the reaction to this punishment? Yeah, Brittany, reasonable is how injured Deputy Mike Trotter described the punishment. The Washington County Sheriff was satisfied as well. As you might imagine, it was an emotional afternoon in the courtroom. Families for the boys killed were there, and they broke down at different times. So, too, did the defendant, Xavier Rodriguez, especially when it came time for him to apologize to all of those impacted families. Video cameras were not allowed in the Washington County Courthouse Friday, but still cameras were. And we captured this image of a shackled Xavier Rodriguez walking into a courtroom where he pled guilty to a crash that killed two people and injured several others, including Washington County Sheriff's Deputy Mike Trotter. A lot of people have asked me if I, me or my family will forgive him. I don't think that's for me and my family decides between him and God. Deputy Trotter was on patrol in late April 2022 when Rodriguez, who was drinking and driving, slammed into Deputy Trotter's rig. This happened near the corner of TV Highway and Murray. Deputy Trotter was badly hurt. So too were two teens in Rodriguez's car. Two other teens in that car, Matthew Amaya and Juan Aguilera, were killed. The sentence that was imposed by the judge holds accountable the individual. That's Washington County Sheriff Pat Garrett reacting to the sentence a judge handed down to the now 19-year-old Rodriguez, 25 years behind bars. Moments before that, though, Rodriguez made an approximately five-minute statement apologizing to everyone involved. His apology is great, but in the end, his decisions led to the loss of lives and uh, challenges in my life. Deputy Trotter says he is making progress in his recovery, though his future in law enforcement is unclear. What is clear is the message the deputy hopes Friday sentencing sends to the community. I hope that this is, uh, you know, also a reality check for community other young members to, to make to make better decisions. All right, it's worth mentioning uh, that family uh, for the boys killed in this crash did speak at today's hearing, and in one way or another, they said they actually forgive Xavier Rodriguez for what happened. Uh, the judge pointed out how remarkable that is and then challenged Rodriguez to think long and hard about why he was spared in this crash and to put that to good use when he's a free man again in 25 years. Back to you. Wow. All right. Thank you so much, Mike.